Hey guys, it's Linda of uh, Linda Winter of Winter Designs and Martelli. I'm going to show you a little bit of Winter Design stuff and some Martelli stuff today. We're talking stockings. If you've watched my giveaways, if you watched my videos that I've done, I had where I talked about a stocking template for the medium and the small, but I didn't have them done. They're done. I'm so excited. So Martelli makes this big Christmas stocking. I love it. It's great for boys. It's great for girls. It's great for anybody where you want to really stuff a whole lot of stuff in. This stocking, I'm going to flip over so you can see the get a grip. This makes this size stocking it's great but it is a little big if I want to have stockings that are really practical but pretty as well so we have the option Martelli makes this elf stocking and I love the elf stocking look how adorable that is so you could do that one but if we wanted to do this one a little bit smaller I'm going to show you what we do but I also want to talk about the foot stocking this is our paw and this is a dog paw cat paw whatever just based on your and your fabric that you choose you have the paw stocking and remember you can fold this down if you want it to just be from here down when you cut your fabric fold it down or don't even cut this top and you also get the paw print here and then the little pads for their toes so that's there I am gonna make this in a smaller template so it'll hold silverware you're gonna see I'm talking about silverware and a gift card and um, your reading glasses if you wanted to do that so let me put these aside and I want to show you this well, we're gonna move that this is the large size stocking, and the large is great. Those of you that have it out there, I'd love to see your pictures. Post some for me. This is the medium size. The medium size makes a stocking like this. This is just out of a one layer of fabric, and I used the serger and then folded that down, so that whips up really, really fast. This one doesn't have a lining, but we've added a cuff on here, and that whips up really fast. This one does have a lining, and then added a cuff. So all of these are made with this one. I am gonna show you another Another method to make stockings but if you really want to see a bunch of stocking methods Ben and I filmed one video and we shortened it and then there's a longer version that has the magic stocking I said the magic stocking was the fastest method that there is but there's actually a faster method that I'm going to show you there are pros and cons to all the methods so we'll take a look at that too so what's so cool about this any of the Martelli templates any of my winter design templates is the get a grip this material on the back this grabs by the way do you see that right there this has gotten some dirt on it packing tape take some packing tape and that'll come right off so you'll see it in my video called get a grip gotten dirty but when I want to go to cut I've got four layers of fabric my greens and my pinks we don't have to do Christmas fabrics this is great for a little girl for the birth announcement you could do blue or green if you wanted to announce the birth of a baby or if you're making something for a baby shower it would be really great to make this and stuff it with all those goodies but what's so great is with my four layers and either the 45 millimeter row rotary cutter or the 28 I cut turning my template as I go imagine my rotary cutter you guys if you've watched any of my videos you've seen me cutting bunches of time so I'm not going to take the time to cut but see how that grabs because I've got a gentle curve here and a gentle curve here and of course a nice big generous curve but this one not so generous I can use the 45 millimeter and cut most of these if you want to be safe take our chalk pencil and just draw here why chalk because I have right sides together the way I really like to do it is right oh sorry I have right sides up wrong sides together the way I really like to do these is to have the opposite so you've got right sides together and then you could use either a chalk pencil or even a pen or a pencil on there but take your chalk pencil or pencil right along here as you go to cut just to make sure you're able to get all of those okay so we're gonna put this one aside and I want to show you this little guy instead of doing the four layers like I have here I'm gonna grab two layers so I would grab right sides together and I'm gonna take my chalk pencil imagine I've got chalk in here this comes with a red white blue and yellow you can get this on Martelli's website you can get it on my website as well but we're gonna around here draw around here draw and around here add your marks because when I cut I like the 28 millimeter when I cut around here I may not get right inside of here by the way when you use the 28 millimeter this guy even with my four layers of fabric from the bigger stocking that I talked about you've got a whole lot of depth this one doesn't roll to open I'm gonna unlock it and it goes all the way this is the lock here closed and this is all the way open do you see the depth of the blade this is gonna cut a whole lot of fabric because the blade is smaller and the design of this, this is gonna get dirtier a whole lot faster. So the brush that you have that goes with your sewing machine or a toothbrush or a dental brush or any of those things, keep that with your 28 millimeter to keep it clean. But you can see all that depth. When
when you're cutting curves, we're gonna look at my hand. If I'm cutting straight, my pointer finger right on top. But when I do curves, don't tilt your hand. I don't know if you can see that, I tilted my hand. If you're on a bike and you tilt your body, this is my body, this is the handlebars. If I tilt my body, I'm gonna end up in the gravel with road rash. So when we do curves, we're gonna use our pointer finger. You can see I'm moving my pointer finger. I'm not tilting my hand. That's the correct way to cut your fabric. I can cut and skip if I've got my hand down here, cutting and skipping the fabric, and then you gotta go back and clean it up. But when I'm doing curves, use that pointer finger, not your hand. I'm gonna lock this back in place that goes all the way back in place so that's locked and I do, don't do any damage. So when I'm cutting with the smaller template, again, I'm gonna draw here and draw here. If there is any part of the stocking fabric that you haven't cut, our precision scissors are amazing. If you don't have these, you need to grab yourself a pair or five to keep these around because they're going to be able to get right in and snip. So you can do this layer, then you're going to do this layer. And again, if we've done right sides together here, we're going to do right sides together here when you put that fabric down. Okay, so that makes the stocking. I want to show you a couple stockings and I want to tell you why it took a little bit longer to get this stocking template done. Originally, I shrunk the stocking template to the size of all those templates that are out there. And this was just too small to get in a gift card or a credit card if you're gonna give somebody a gift card. It's perfect for glasses. You can see how I've got reading glasses in here. It's great for silverware. Even this size, I made it wider. This is too wide. All this stuff just gets lost in there. So this is the size that this makes. So I'm gonna grab my silverware. If you're doing a festive table setting, then this is perfect. You can even bring that cuff up a little bit. And I don't want all the rattling going on, but do you see? how that fits perfectly for all of this. This fits a, a gift card as well, and it holds your reading glasses really well uh, too. So you can see this one was the size of basically this, a little bit wider. It's just too big. Everything gets lost down here. I love this size for other things, but not for the intention of the silverware, of your reading glasses, and of the gift card. That stuff would just get lost. So this is the size that this is gonna make. This method that I have here, do you see the plaid on the front and then the holly on the back? That's the fastest way. I talk about in the videos the magic stocking i still love the magic stocking but i'm going to show you this method in a second if you notice there's no seam here that's the trick right there we're going to put the fabric on the fold but i'll show you that in a few minutes let me get this stuff out of the way and i want to show you some of the fabric choices that i love playing with if you've looked at any of the pictures that i have and one of the stockings i love burlap i found this in a roll i don't know where but i can't wait to make this see how that grabs burlap usually is difficult with acrylic but boy this stuff loves this so I could do two layers of this stuff same thing with this you can buy this by the yard and then you have this already on here this medallion so make sure you're looking at your direction so that you have it going the way you want you can also just get plain old burlap and you can rubber stamp or you can use a sharpie and draw on there if you wanted to stenciling works really well with that too Okay, so I wanted to show you the method that is really the fastest, and we've got some more fabrics we'll look at in a minute, but let's imagine that I've got this guy here, and I'm going to look at the height. Do you see how I've got a little bit more, me being the cheapskate that I am? I'm going to fold this up a little bit, and then we'll place this here. Now, I would really do wrong sides together right sides together, sorry about that. And then do you see how I've got that on the fold? When I go to cut around here, before I even cut this, I would cut this off here so that I don't have all this fabric twisting. You can see if I cut around here, I've got all that fabric that's gonna bunch up and get in the way. So just cut yourself a small square or whatever. Cut one of these and then I would do the same thing with this. When you do that, you've got a long piece with a toe down here and a toe down here. And then I'm gonna take the same thing of this a toe and a toe right sides together and stitch around you can leave this section open when you go to turn this is the straightest part that doesn't have any curves so when you go to turn you can stitch that close that's the part where I'm going to do the turning and by the way you can cut one of these shapes and then do your measuring on your um, your mat and look to see whatever that is we've got from 18 to 25 7 so I would do a 15 inch 
rectangle and this is going to be one to almost six inches so i would cut a six by 15 rectangle and just line those up i don't need two of these pieces cut to line up and if that doesn't make sense i'll take some pictures and show that to you that would have been a good thing for me to show you but what that ends up giving you is let's see if i can find that one that gives you one fabric on the front one fabric on the back but because we don't have any cuff to add on, we don't have any additional seams. Do you see how versatile that is? And imagine how fast that is. I like this side. Oh no, I like this side. So you get to pick and choose. So if you're gonna do dinner one night and do silverware, you have it here. And then the next night you turn it over and they think you've made two different stockings. Or better yet, let them take these home to go with them. Okay, so I showed you the one that was a serger. This is a heavier weight, but you can grab your old clothes, your flannel shirts, all of those things. The skirts that you might've had from college days and that makes a really quick easy one to do fussy cutting i came out with that fussy cut frame for the smaller one and i mentioned that i'm going to have the fussy cut frame for the medium size let me show you what's so cool about this do i like this right here do i like this do i want to add the holly remember our seam allowance is going to be coming out of this quarter inch seam allowance three eighths whatever it is that you want to do so you decide with this fussy cut frame how you want things to be do you see how you've got that play i love the fussy cut frame the idea of this i've got two layers here so imagine i only have one layer and then i place this where it is that i want you can see my happy holidays i like to get close to the edge so i'm not wasting any fabric when i get what it is that i want this guy goes inside i pop and that allows me to cut so you've got the fussy cut frame that you can get with this small size i'm going to have a fussy cut frame that comes with the medium size i want to show you a couple other fabrics that are great for fussy cutting i love this this was a fat quarter that i found fat quarters are perfect for this do i want the reindeer as my star do i want my christmas tree as a star you decide what it is but do you see how that allows you to pick and choose what it is that you want even bringing this in, you play with this. This is your viewfinder. So that viewfinder allows you to pick and choose. With a fabric like this, I wanna show you what I don't like. Do you see this square? You think this is great, but not so much. It's only when I start playing that I say, let me bring this in, let me bring in the postal, let me bring in the joy, get rid of that rectangle, because that rectangle just screams, it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. Do you see how I can choose that? I don't have that rectangle as the star. You go pick and choose, even my Santa, I don't focus on this rectangle that's here, I focus in on this, and I can see. I can also see right now, I don't have enough fabric. So that's that's what's so beautiful about these fussy cut frames. I think that is it. So I'm gonna have this on my website. I hope that I'm gonna be able to get this out to you so that you'll have enough time to play with this for Christmas. If you're interested, it's gonna go on my website tonight. I'm gonna to do a bundle that includes this guy, this guy, this, and the fussy cut frame. I'll sell them all individually as well, but I'll also uh, offer you a nice little discount um, if you do the bundle. And if you want the large one, I'll have that as well as a bundle too. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience on getting these out to you. And I've got some more things coming, so stay tuned. www.winnerdesigns.com. That's winner as an opposite of loser for those of you that know me. Thanks for watching.